again today as you can see it's my first vlog I finally got some equipment and some stuff to do a vlog with so bear with me I'm new to this I don't know how to do this so I'm doing my best but I'm here in Alabama for my one of my internships for the summer this girl is working always but I just wanted to really show y'all this room. First and foremost, I did not get anything in the airport. I did not get us flying or any of that because there's too much going on. Um, they threw like half of my hair care, skin care stuff away. I was real tight. But I just really wanted to show y'all this room because it's, it's wild. Like, it's really wild. So first of all, they pay for everything. Our flights, our hotel, blah, blah, blah. But the, the gag is we each have our own room. Like, please. I have this whole big room to myself like I low-key I'm gonna be lonely like I'm gonna be wanting to go to other people's room and stuff like this huge big bed like oh my goodness oh my goodness like what 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 does this do oh I think I just took a photo of myself can you change the camera just kidding you can't okay anyways I just wanted to show y'all real quick um, my room Yes, um, we stay here for two nights and then I go back. Today's Thursday, I go back Sunday. Well, I get back in on Sunday. So, yeah. Anyways, see y'all later. Hi, y'all. I'm back. We're down here in the, um, in the, what is this? Hey. Hotel restaurant. <laughs> We're just chilling. We already ate. I forgot all that because I was too hungry to vlog. So, sorry. This is the crew. This is my internship people. Everybody say hello. We down here. We chilling. We chilling, chilling. <laughs> okay. Your voice got super deep. He went out the door that time. All right, everybody. Top three favorite musicians. That's a good question. That's what I thought we already talked about. We had to break that down into genres. That was like, movies. No, just, so just if you can only have three people well, on your phone Beyonce right now. Oh, that's easy. She's my number one. She's my heart. Sorry. I will never fall. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you side eye for <laughs> real. I've heard of them. <gasps> They're so good. I really do love them. And I'm actually buying tickets. So if you want to help me buy tickets, Blanche <laughs> the Machine, she's like a band from, they fire too. from England. Yep. Okay, and yeah, I love her more than I love Beyonce. So. Okay, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn said, nope, cross the line. Oh, wow. I don't know why I actually Blanche the Machine. All yeah, I love Brooklyn shit. Do y'all like Brooklyn? Yes, but he's yeah. slipping with them yeah. albums. Okay. okay. Uh -oh. So, dissect podcast. Every season, they take a different album and they dissect it like... Oh, I saw something about that on Twitter. It's super dope. So, so the, the, they dissect the composition of the music, the writing of the music, what's going on with the artist, like, the artists, like where, they do the, where they do the influences from, mm. where like what's going, around, going on around the time, and then it gets like the meaning of different music. So the third That's season the is about the future. Do Migos hey, count as one what? artist? Albums? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mila is judging you. <laughs> future PMB rock. Nah, future like that, man. Future I'm so like weak. That. Future PMB rock and Migos. I'm counting Migos as one. Of all time? Of no, not all time. They said if you like can only listen like to three on your phone, I'll be fine. But I didn't with like you. his last album. It's just Why not? like when songs are Future too Travis long. Travis Scott, I have ADD. Like when songs are yeah. too long, I can't. I and it's too much. Hmm. If I can only listen to three yeah. artists, I, mean, no, I have songs like two minutes. There are only no. seven tracks on there. Exactly. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. If I did, I do. Some seventeen tracks are over. Um. Oh God, this is so hard. I appreciate Sade would definitely be my number one because she has so much music that I can listen to endlessly. Like really? Like, okay, I love Charlie. So you like Ordinary Love? You know I mean? like, yes. But I mean, I mean, I That's so busy, but my favorite song is Soldier. Um, 
Love, what is it? Stronger Than Pride. Um, J. Cole. What is her other song My mom Beyonce. Yeah, same. Adele. Maybe Michael Jackson. Because he has some bops, but he also has like, you know, slower music. That's my favorite singer of all time. Uh, this is difficult. I need. I, I want to. I want to pick people who have like a broad, like a lot of music, so I would never get bored. I don't know who the third one would be. It would have to be somebody from this generation. That's hard to choose. They said they coming back though. See if you understood it. Yeah, I got. I got a demo. Yes. Yes. I can't even mug. All of this black magic up in here. All this melanin. Well, she's a white woman. Anyway, so like, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to memorize. All right. Well, catch up with you guys later. Good morning. So today is the day two of me being in Alabama. It is June 29th. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I got up an hour ago. I am now late for breakfast. And, but I just texted somebody, they said they're still eating and that nobody's in the conference room yet. So that's a plus. I'm about to go downstairs, get some food. Then we have a workshop, um, which we'll be in for like an hour or two. I don't really know. I should look at the itinerary. And then I think we're going to the museum. And yeah, I bought my camera. But I don't think I'm going to take it because it's really heavy and I'd rather just vlog anyways because you guys are my priority right now and not getting some sweet flicks for my visco. So I had to make an executive decision, but um, let's check out what I'm wearing. Okay, so this is my outfit today. Super, super basic. I've got Keds because I'm a mom, obviously. Um, these jeans are from Fashion Nova. These are my favorite jeans. These are the, I think they're called the original high-waisted jeans or something like that in medium and then this shirt is from cotton on and then you know some chokers because I'm not trying to do too much but still trying to look a little you know put together and my hair is half up half down and I might go up into a full bun later depending on how hot it is my clipboard because you know I'm studious and all of that and we're about to go to the workshop and take notes and stuff and then yeah on the book um, you guys have this and we gave this to you because we have the documentary we did on the back in addition to the movie as well as Dwight's uh, behind the scene documentary because that's going to be helpful for you but um i just lost my train of thought what did i just say trees with no oh i just lost my train of thought okay so um what i want to do now just looking at the fact we, we got to know our history um last time when you guys when we met in virginia we did a libation does anybody remember what the libation is anybody want to talk about the libation what, what is a libation you said we was pouring water for our ancestors. Okay. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, last time that we did a, li a libation, we do libations everywhere. We, maybe, maybe you can come up and help me with this. We do libations in all of our programs. And I did my first libation, I think about, uh, I think it was at an Amadou Diallo rally in 1999. And I, I was baptized in the Christian church. So I remember seeing people pour water and being like, Jesus, is this cool? <laughs> and I remember Nate, when I started getting Nate into the, he was like, Jesus, is this cool? <laughs> but like a lot of things in our culture, you know, when, the more when, you know, Nate ended up going to Cameroon when he found out where his people were from and they poured libation. And it, it, this is a cultural ritual that we have done from the beginning of time. But during slavery, it was outlawed. Why do you think they'd outlaw libations? And you guys have seen it in the hood. We grow up, pour out a little liquor. Mm -hmm. For the homies, Tupac used to have a song, pour out a little liquor. You know, and you pour out a little locker, but you don't know where it comes from. Why do you think they outlawed libations during slavery? Something that connects us to our past. It gives us roots. It gives us it, roots. It, it, it empowers us. It empowers us. They took it away because I don't make a good slave if I know who I am. Slavery is dependent on you being broken down and dependent. But if I'm strong and I know that I'm standing on the shoulders of those who created civilizations, it's going to be hard to break me. So one thing I want to ask is if we could just all circle up. I think that would be. Anybody have any questions? Touch somebody, touch somebody, touch somebody. Is that going to mess you up, Dwight? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll OK, I'll yeah. If you guys could link up. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> All 
right? If we could just go ahead and focus, think about what it is we want to accomplish today. Think about all of the energy that came before us. I hold this water, which represents life. I pour and we say, Ashe. Ashe. I pour to the left and I pour to the right to represent the balance of the male and female principle, right? Which is foundational for any nation, for any healthy community, making sure that that balance exists. And we say, Ashe. Ashe. I pour to the north, I pour to the south, I pour to the west, and I pour to the east to represent the four cardinal directions that all of our ancestors came from, traveled, laid down tracks, sacrificed, and in many cases, even, even, even passed, so that we could be here at this very moment. We acknowledge your sacrifice, and we say, Ashe. Ashe. We pour now for the griots, for the storytellers, for the people whose responsibility it was to hold onto our stories, to remember our stories, to pass those stories down, recognizing that without that connection, our ability to draw on that strength was limited. And for the storytellers and for the griots, we say ashe. Ashe. We pour water for those ancestors who are walking around, minding their business, engaging in their day-to-day -day affairs, and who that evening found themselves in the bottom of a ship, in the bottom of some dungeon, preparing to endure travels and experiences that they had not known before that time. And for what they endured and for the strength we can draw from that, we say ashe. 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 We pour water for those uh, individuals who had to be a part of the Middle Passage, and we saw some of that. We saw some footage um, that was very painful last week, and just to see how it impacted us. You know, they say if you were to drown out the ocean, we have from 9 to 40 million of our ancestors that didn't even make it here. Um, we just give thanks for those who endured some of the most horrific conditions known to mankind in the midst of all of the chaos and, and, and terror um, had it in them to survive so that we could be here at this moment. We acknowledge and we say Ashe. Ashe. We pour for all of those who made it to Virginia and that made it here and went from being human beings that had a legacy that could trace their bloodlines for generations and generations and went from being proud human beings to property. You know, we're going to visit an auction block. EJI is located on an auction block. Um, so we know that we are on sacred ground and, and just the uh, from going from being a human being to to three-fifths human uh, we acknowledge uh, the pain and the sacrifice and uh, we just say Ashe. Ashe. and now we acknowledge the continuation of that struggle those who post slavery those who continue to resist we acknowledge you we appreciate you and we ask that the best of your energy the best of your wisdom would be with us today and we say Ashe. 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 we now open up this circle and if you have the name lastly we want to pour water um, for our elders, from whom we can learn, a great, although they're not ancestors, from whom we can learn a great deal from, from their mistakes as well as their triumphs. Ashe. Ashe. And then we pour for the babies, you know, for the, for the babies that are unborn yet, for our babies, um, that we would leave this place better off than we inherited it for them. And we say Ashe. 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 Yes. So at this time, if we could open up the circle. Um, um, and I want everybody to at least call on the name of somebody who impacted them. And I'm going to start by pouring out for uh, Rosa Parks. Ashe. 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 My grandmother, Teola Black. Ashe. 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 Alice Walker. Ashe. Ashe. My grandfather, Raul Santiago. Ashe. 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 Paul Robeson. Ashe. Ashe. Octavia Butler. Ashe. Ashe. James Baldwin. Ashe. W.B. Du Bois. Ashe. Kezia Butler. Ashe. Marcus Garvey. Ashe. Grandmother Kizzy Bow. Ashe. Nat Turner. Ashe. 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 Tupac. Ashe. Huey Newton. Ashe. Ben Jones. Ashe. 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 Phyllis Wheatley. Ashe. Ashe. Meg Rivers. Ashe. Ashe. Khalila Brand. Mm -hmm. Ashe. 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 Family, if there be no other names, let us remember the names that were called. Let us embody the best parts of those individuals as we go on in our journey to be truth tellers, um, to be warriors for our people. Um, we just ask that uh, we would embody the best parts of those individuals and, and 
gain strength from their legacy as we work toward building our own. We can say Ashe three times. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right, have a seat. Okay, so now we are done with the morning's workshop. We are headed to the first memorial of the day. We're down here in Alabama, Montgomery downtown. So we got a lot going on. Um, I will probably update you all when we get to the actual memorial. We might have some B-roll footage of us on the bus on the way there. If there's like um, stuff that we pass by that I want to show, I might do that. But yeah, just wanted to update you all. It's a beautiful day. We have better weather because yesterday when we came in, it was storming. And we thought it was supposed to storm all day today and that would have ruined everything. But it's like, it's really, really nice out here. And it's, it's actually not that hot. It's not as hot as we were expecting it to be. But yeah. Hi, this is Niambi. She is also friend and intern here. State, <laughs> You know, little state, because we big state over here. Whoa, it's all good. We're big state. No, 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 no. Virginia State came first. Remember, respect your elders. No hate, no hate. No shade, all tea. All facts. All facts. BSU alum, you know. It's bright. I need to get my glasses. Oh, Jesus. I have so many glasses and I always wear the same Shoot, broke I hair. My glasses. And I thought about that when I went in the room too. Don't catch me slipping. Squinting gives me a headache, so I always bring glasses. <laughs> but I always bring the same pair. I have like 10 pairs of glasses and I don't wear any of them. Squinting is like my resting face. I always have to stop myself from doing it. <laughs> like, You're gonna get wrinkles and I'm like, I'm black. <laughs> I hate that you can't turn the camera around while it's filming. Like you have to stop filming and then turn it around again. Work on that, Apple. mascot is a Trojan, probably. that would be lit if their mascot was a it is it is yeah oh my god but you know what's crazy is my high school's mascot was a Trojan really yes it's literally like sleepwear and athletic right next to the memorial you see that like slavery to mass incarceration right but they share the same like a property line they share isn't that crazy how symbolic is Justice Initiative. I'm from the beautiful city of Kigali in Rwanda. I wanted to say a few words before you started your experience. Uh, this is a narrative memorial, so I want to encourage everyone uh, to pay attention to the text as we're making your way up uh, the museum. And once we get into the museum structure, the monuments represent the counties where we've documented incidents of racial terror lynchings uh, in the United States between the end of Reconstruction 1877 uh, uh, in 1950. Uh, and so I'll be with you all. I can answer any questions that you guys have about the design, about our research, about the names. Um, and uh, please keep an eye out also for art. Art, um, uh, art sculptures are playing uh, a huge role in, in the narrative that we're trying to uh, create and launch here. So um, welcome once again, um, and I hope you all enjoy your afternoon.
Okay guys, we finished up our tour at the lynching memorial and now we are here at the Legacy Museum which is also in downtown Montgomery, Alabama. It's literally like right around the corner and um, we're gonna go in and do some more, you know, looking, seeing, learning while we're here at this one. We just finished the Equal Justice Initiative Museum and now we are here at the Rosa Parks Library and Museum and we will be going in shortly. a 12 hour plus day we just finished dinner and it is currently like 10 o'clock or something at night but we are walking back to the hotel from the restaurant we're just kind of exploring the downtown area so yeah it's low-key it's very chill chill vibes but it looks like a cute little downtown area it looks like a fun place to like just walk around at at night but you know like not by yourself of course especially if you're black <laughs> hey Y'all, they were having a fire, what is this, a fireman, like, a fireman challenge. Yeah. challenge, a fireman challenge, and they had to climb that thing right there, all the way to the top with their all their fireman gear on, and then they had to pull some rope that had weights on it all the way up to the top, so, yeah, that was interesting, and I applaud anybody who's a fireman because it wouldn't be me. You would never catch me doing that. <laughs> And it was like super hot. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is day two. We are here in our workshop. It is about 9.15. And yeah, we're just getting started. We have breakfast. And now we're just chilling, listening to music, and waiting on people to come into the room. Like, I respect his music, but I'm like a West Coast dude. So, like, his case, I, I started to like it, like, one mic, like, later. But growing up, I didn't like it, because I was a, I had a West Coast case. Music discussions. I used to like him. Hey, everybody. So, you know, time is winding down. We just finished our last workshop for the day. It's about almost 1 o'clock, and that's when we have to check out. So, I just packed up all my stuff, you know, got my stuff all about the room, and we're about to head down, so... Just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. Our flight leaves at 5.30 um, to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. So one of those two. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing real quick. So I got this top like two years ago. This is from Rue 21. And then I got these leggings from Fashion Nova. That's my timer telling me it's time to go. And then these are kids, because you know I'm basic and I wear these with everything. But these leggings actually came with a matching top, I just don't have it with me. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, overall the experience was a lot of fun. It was really eye-opening. And um, it was just, it was a good experience. It's good to link up with a lot of like-minded people. You know, the interns, they're all really cool. We all have the same type of goals to be successful, to you know um, educate ourselves and others about our culture and our history so it was just a really eye-opening um, trip and experience all together and shout out for the Nate Parker Foundation for um, covering costs of everything that was lit and yeah so I think we're just about to go check out walk around downtown and then you know the shuttle comes to get us at three so yep that's all that's going on so the next time I see you all we will probably be walking around outside hey y'all oh true we're out
out here exploring the downtown area. We found a fireman challenge. It's the same one as yesterday, but they look like they have more stuff going on. So we're over here checking it out. Um, not really them. We're going to the bouncy house stuff because we're children. What is going on? <laughs> I've never seen no shit like this. Yeah, this is different. This is definitely different. Look out of place. <laughs> what are you shaking your head for? I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done. She said, find me a husband. Side. It's Montgomery Station 7. Cross the finish line, 149, 36. You can't tell it's like an activity right now. Tristan, and I'm not in a good mood. Y'all want to sit right here? Or y'all want to stand back here? I'm gonna stand, I feel like it's gonna burn me. You said burn you? Yeah, like creatures heat you up. Yeah, that's it. Oh, have a try, have a try. Gotta love it, go get them brothers, go have some fun. Y'all, we stayed in the hotel this whole time that was literally steps from the waterfront, and this is our first time even coming out here. I bet this would have been super nice at night. Destiny, did you enjoy yourself this weekend? Yes, I did. Yes. I don't want to go home. <laughs> I'm sad. Because Aww. now I gotta go back to work. Same. It's alright. Get that money. Listen, Chase that check. Can't wait until August to start filming. Look out for us in August, y'all. Yes, look out. That's when the real work comes. <laughs> yeah. Nikos, did you enjoy yourself this weekend? Yes, ma'am. Hey, let's work. Still out here until we go back home. <laughs> here we yeah. go. Mike, did you enjoy yourself this weekend? Uh, I'm playing with you. Oh. <laughs> hey, Richmond, airport, y'all owe me some money. <laughs> no, for real. We're going to talk about the TSA situation later, though. Brooklyn, did you enjoy yourself this weekend? Oh, man. Hey. What's, this? What's, that? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Hi, Nate. Hey, hey. And Ryan, did y'all enjoy yourselves this weekend? Oh, man. Ooh. Still enjoying ourselves. How we going to do our little thing? <laughs> oh, oh, the boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Back. Kimani, did you enjoy yourself this weekend? I did. Someone like right here. <laughs> Milan, you got cut off. Did you enjoy yourself this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Milan is like the funniest person I've met I like this that. whole time we have been here. She is that chick. I like to have fun. <laughs> she don't hold nothing back. I can't wait to put this together. <laughs> tell him, tell him. Lord. I don't change, change nothing, all right? I'm so excited. I'm not looking at the footage I know. I can't wait to put this vlog together, y'all. It's going to be, I know I hate editing, but I know the past is going to be long. It's like a bunch of little clips. So I'm going to send you my footage then. I'm about to shoot now. But yes, this is going to be a lot of stuff to cover. Yeah, you got my, I got your logo. Yeah, oh okay. yeah. I'm shooting the movie starting, uh, matter of fact, I'm shooting the movie starting August 13th. Uh, we will need production assistance. And then when we run out of production assistance, we'll need some volunteers. We can't do our shooting. I knew that already. Oh my gosh, I want to go. Yeah. Okay. We'll circulate the way we talk about it. Yes. He's shooting a movie and he wants to go. Maybe we do, it's LA. Maybe we do a. Um, for those who just can come for a weekend and can't stay for the whole time, maybe we can just do a set visit. You know what I mean? I would die. Um, I'll be in prep for the next. I'm in prep right now. That's why I haven't <laughs> been able to be with the end and I've been like going crazy. But uh, we prep from last Monday all the way until the weekend before the 13th. And then we shoot from the 13th until September 15th. So it's like a 24 day shoot. Um, anyone that has nothing to do and wants to come out soon on the 9th, we can move into our offices. You can just come and office PA or office whatever we can, we can sort it out we yeah. make, this is all of this is why we do what we do to provide this type of opportunities um, as you see Maya just pieced out Ashley pieced out 
Uh, Ashley was just up for a big pilot, a big TV show. Uh, and then Maya actually got a job. So we're trying to figure out if she can still do that job and still help with the movie. She's just graduated. And she's coming to the Institute. But I wanted her to get connected with the network just for these opportunities.